Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and unbox and use this Microsoft Arc Mouse right here for the iPad Pro. All right, let's go ahead and go on first with the unboxing. So uh, the reason why I got this mouse right here is just because it's uh, portability, it's really nice and small, it's pretty sleek in design, you can just fit it in any bag. I have a uh, laptop sleeve or a 13 inch laptop sleeve for my iPad Pro and I used to bring a uh, bulky mouse, it's about like, it's one of those Logitech silent mouses about this thick. The only problem is like my bag, it's my second time replacing my bag already because um, the pouches inside keeps on breaking because it's not designed to have that thick of a object inside the bag. So uh, this one right here, hopefully will fix that issue. So let's go ahead and uh, pull this guy out. All right, so you guys will see over here, nothing on top of the box. Got the mouse right here. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's like a two-tone matte finish. So this part right here is really rubbery. This one's kind of, it's like a, a plasticky feeling right here on top. Of course, there's no physical buttons since this is touch-based mouse. And uh, I guess you can just pull this tab right here, but we'll do that later uh, once we uh, remove everything over here in the box. So if you pull this one up, nice little cardboard right here. Got the instruction manual from Microsoft, put that aside. And I guess these are just things that it passed. Not too sure about that one. And another guide over here. And let's see if there's something else that came in the box. No? Oh, nothing else. So let's put everything back in. And let's go ahead and check out the mouse. Alright. Now that everything's back in, this one right here is the mouse. So uh, it's pretty nice and slim. You can see over here, here's my iPad Pro in comparison, and here's the mouse. You can see how thin the mouse is compared to the iPad Pro. It's really nice if you just want to stick it inside the bag. Um, build quality is pretty nice. Um, the fact that it's like a bendable mouse, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break over time of course you keep bending it uh, when you do bend it you see this little weird uh, hump over here in the middle that's because the, the rubber is bending so when it bends there's like extra slack underneath but uh, nothing that I would see as an issue in the future uh, it does look like it's a really well-made rubber in the plastic over here not really uh, not really fingerprint magnet so uh, that's a good plus and when you go ahead and pull up this one right here you can see a uh, two triple a batteries it's by Duracell which is uh, pretty nice it's the name brand it's really good um, this battery is really good as far as it's, it's long long and long longevity long longevity well as far as like use wise goes Alright, so that's it for this guy. I went ahead and removed the tab. That way we can see how we can pair this one on the iPad Pro. So when you go ahead and bend this one, you're going to see a blue light. That means it's activated. So when this mouse is like this, flat, it's off. You don't see any blue light. There's no uh, functionalities. There's no presenter button or anything like that. But when you do bend it, See the blue light starts blinking as well as the blue light on top. Sorry, the white light on top starts blinking. So to pair this one, let's go ahead and go to your iPad settings right here. And then we're going to go to Bluetooth. When you go ahead and scroll down, 
First, let's go ahead and bend this one. Let's go ahead and click accessory. There you go. So Microsoft Arc Mouse Bluetooth pairing request. So let's click pair. All right, so we can see it's connected. So when your mouse is connected, you would have to access or turn on accessory mode or accessibility mode. For me, I kept it as a shortcut as a three presses over here in the on switch. And then you will see accessory mode so you can go ahead and move around. And there you go, that's the mouse right there. You can right click, you can left click. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, scroll pretty smooth uh, however there's no metal button uh, for this mouse not like other mouses where you, if you click the button on the scroll wheel it goes automatically back to the home screen this one doesn't so it just left and right click and then scroll that's it for this mouse uh, maybe later on with the iPad Pro OS or iPad OS there's going to be uh, more updates uh, to uh, utilize the gestures of this mouse but as of right now there's none so just left and right click and scroll for this mouse so make sure you guys keep that in mind all right so that's it for my review and basically a quick unboxing with this one uh, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more videos about this mouse or uh, how it helped me use this video it's like because I use my iPad to edit this video so that you like Having a mouse like this, portable, it will really help me uh, do all these videos as fast as possible. So go ahead and put that in the comment section down below. Please do subscribe if you guys like this video and please click that like button. I would definitely appreciate it. Uh, things like this, I'm not sponsored so I'm just doing this one uh, for your guys' uh, your guys's education, if you would say. Uh, that way you can fully utilize your iPad using your iPad OS. Alright, that's it for my video. Hope you guys like this video uh, and you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.